a perpetual comedy here. Um, you can see from the title, The Undertaker recently retired. He's been one of my favorite wrestlers since I was a kid. I know this is a different type of video. We never really do things like this, but um, I figured this is a good chance for you to get to know me. I know I do the Jake videos. And, excuse me, he always talks about wrestling and stuff, but the truth is I'm a huge wrestling fan. And this is the 30th year Taker's been uh, wrestling. I've literally been watching him since I was a kid. Since I was four years old. I was born in 86, so 90 he came out. And he had this mystique about him. Like you've never seen someone so big that could do those elaborate moves. And his character to this day is the best that the WWE ever created. It was The Undertaker. I actually saw him at um, WrestleMania 29. In uh, New Jersey, you had CM Punk, which was his last, un before the streak was broken, it was the last match he had, and he won that. And if you haven't watched The, the Last Ride on uh, the WWE Network, I highly, highly recommend you guys watching that. It, had a, it was just an in-depth look at him, man. Like, he's played this character for so many years, and you don't get to see the side of him that, like, has kids and stuff and just being a dad and he the amount of surgeries this man has went through and the things he's done for this business he just wanted to go out like he should he should write his own ticket and then the boneyard match was a great way because it exposed all of his characters exposed Mark Calloway the American badass and ultimately the Undertaker and he, the, he's a legend he should be able to go out the way he wants to but um Anyway, about that, I uh, also decided to give you my personal favorite five matches of The Undertaker's. I wrote them down here. Well, I didn't write them down from my phone. <laughs> All right. Number five. WrestleMania 13, Taker versus Psycho Sid. This was the second time he won the, um, the WWF championship. The first time, he didn't hold, hold it long. It was, he beat Hogan with uh, you know, the tombstone, Ric Flair pulled out the chair, whatever, whatnot. But it was like the first time like you felt like you won it, you know? Then it was the main event of WrestleMania 13, and he's holding the belt up, and you can actually see him if you watch the clip, and he says, this is for you, this is for you. He, he always did it for the fans, and it was just a real powerful moment, and uh, it, it's, it's just one of my favorite matches ever. Number four, would be the, actually the very first Hell in a Cell. It was a bad blood. It was The Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels in the very first Hell in a Cell. And it, to this day, it's one of the best Hell in a Cell matches ever. The, it, Taker and Triple H, or, I'm sorry, not Triple H, Shawn's, their chemistry in the ring was unbeatable. And that was actually Kane's debut, which the, um, he helped you know Shawn win the match. But um, it was just a, another big moment because you got Kane debuting, who you know did 20 years in uh, WWE as well. All right, number three would be uh, the Undertaker versus Jeff Hardy, and it was a Raw tag, not a tag team match. Jesus, a ladder match um, back in 2002, and um, it kind of put Jeff on the map. Uh, Taker, you know, he Jeff, they almost showed him about the win, you know, and then Taker, he came back, beat him up, and then he came back again, and then he, he raised his hand, kind of like, respect, like, if and if Taker gives you that, man, you're set. Number two, WrestleMania 28, which in my opinion, it, it was a great match. I think Sean, Triple H, and Taker should just went out together, to be honest with you. It was like the perfect ending. The match was back and forth, back and forth. And the first time like ever you really thought the streak was on the line, like he was gonna lose. You, like, you really felt that when you were watching it. And at the end when they were holding each other and uh, you know, they look up, you know, look at the crowd. And uh, even the documentary, uh, they, Taker says that's one of the most special moments in his life and I'll never forget it. He's got the... Uh, the picture of that uh, framed up in his, his actual gym at home. So, and number one, which is, I don't even need to look at it, which is renowned as probably the greatest wrestling match of all time is Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania 25. Everyone knows it. it was the good versus the evil. The storytelling was absolutely phenomenal leading up to that match. 
It was almost a 30 mat, 30 minute match. It was a five star match, one of the greatest matches you've ever seen in your life. And they actually talked about it on the documentary. Triple H said, "Me and uh, Randy Orton got to follow this. How the are we supposed to follow that? It, it's 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 the match of the century. It's absolutely." Amazing if you get a chance watch that and please watch the last ride documentary. It is so good But uh, I'll give you guys a different video I uh, hope you enjoyed it and got a little chance to know me my wrestling history Obviously, I know a ridiculous amount about the Undertaker, but uh, we appreciate you guys and you guys take it easy. Have a good day